there is research showing that um, people who play games already think about democracy, society while they're playing games. So I think it's important, given that at least one in three people in the European Union play games regularly, that games engage with the topics they're thinking about anyway. Well, I think there's a number of things games can do that other non-linear forms can't. And that doesn't mean I think games replace other forms, but I think they can enhance them. So, for example, you can replay the same situation, take different decisions and see different outcomes. Uh, but the other thing they can do is they can put you in the shoes of somebody else. So you can find out what it, f you can feel a little bit of what it feels like to be in that position. So, so it, it offers something that the other forms don't and it's useful to engage with those. Well, I mean, a great example of a game with democracy in it, which is a mainstream game, is Democracy 3, which is currently on Steam by Positech Games. It's a great game and it really engages with a lot of the complexity that I've been talking about. But also there's plenty of news games, so if you go to Games for Change, they have a whole list of really great games that look at everything from Israel-Palestine to ones we've created like Endgame Syria. So yeah, there's a whole host of games that, that really engage with these issues.